A group of taxi drivers canceled a strike earmarked for today intended to express their disapproval of the government's lack of action on tackling illegal ride-hailing services. Memo Zangai reports. Around 500 taxi drivers had earlier planned to go on a three-hour strike today to complain about the government's lack of action to combat illegal ride-hailing services in the city. However, the strike was cancelled on Tuesday evening after industry representatives held a call with relative authorities and were satisfied with their response. Moreover, the drivers have been denied permission to use the planned venue for the strike. Chairman of the city's Taxi and Public Light Bus Association, Cao Kuo Kern, said the purpose of the strike is to deliver a message to the government, do more to combat illegal car hailing services. There are about 80,000 taxis in Hong Kong and 40,000 drivers, with the average driver's age being 60 years old. This driver said the industry faces another greater problem. Many have left the sector for other more profitable jobs. Speaking about the effectiveness of the strike against illegal car hires, the driver believed the impact would have been minimal. Lomi Kaban Chen, meanwhile, said a third reading of the taxi driver offence points bill will soon be carried out at the Legislative Council. He believes the bill will enhance deterrent effects and expects it to be passed by the end of this year. Memos 9, TVB News.